Today we're testing the new continuous variable transmission and the Subaru Forester. Our test driver, Sasha Knopf, has come out here to this test track to put the CVT through its paces. Previous versions of the CVT have proved less than optimal. That's mostly due to what's called the rubber band effect, where the engine revs up without the car accelerating fast. But the engineers at the Scheffler Group have come up with a new design that's aimed at solving that problem. Sasha says the CVT does exactly what it's supposed to do, and that's to provide an uninterrupted supply of power to the drive wheels. But when you take a fast curve, you'll notice that the seats in the Forester need more lateral support. The Forester is a mid-sized crossover SUV. It weighs in at 1.6 tons and is powered by a 177 kilowatt gasoline engine. It can hit 100 kilometers in just 7.5 seconds. Older versions of the continuous variable transmission couldn't handle high torque loads, but the engineers at Scheffler have come up with a more reliable design that features a metal belt and a pulley system. Their new CVT can generate a peak torque of up to 500 newton meters. Torque is especially important when you're driving around in rough terrain. We decided to see whether the Subaru Forester really lives up to the name Sport Utility Vehicle. The new X-Mode component provides good four-wheel traction at speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. And it provides stability when you're driving up or down hills. With the Forester... Subaru executive Jörg Krakas says they designed the Forester to appeal to people who enjoy driving in open country and who drive in cities. Some customers will want to attach a trailer to the vehicle for horses or camping equipment. The Forester has a towing capacity of two tons. That should be perfect for them. The Forester also offers a ground clearance of 220 millimeters, low fuel consumption, seating comfort, and excellent handling on the road. Families and people who enjoy the outdoors will appreciate these features, especially the extra ground clearance. Subaru has also made some changes to the Forester's exterior design, mostly the front end. The new additions include a taller grille and a sporty looking bumper. Not much change to the sides of the vehicle. And the lettering on the rear end will make it clear to anyone what sort of Subaru they're following. Sasha says Subaru considers itself a niche importer here in Germany with sales just under 10,000 vehicles. That works out at a market share of 0.3%. Obviously Subaru is, at this point, not a major player in the German car market. But at least the CVT transmission has proven itself efficient and reliable. We were impressed with the way it provides a smooth drive for both driver and passengers.